Okay, so today I want to talk about post-processing and different tools to use for that. Um, one of the biggest questions I get asked is how do you get the colors that you do and um, your style is very distinct, etc. And I'm very grateful for that. But I do find that in a lot of these like post-processing editing worlds, people are very tight-lipped about how they do things. And I get it. I totally understand. But I, I think that, you know, I, I, I love being someone that's able to share these things and, and that's part of the reason for making these videos. So there will be more videos. This is going to be a quick look at five reasons why you should use Capture One. Capture One is very similar to your Lightroom. Um, it's got a little edge on Lightroom if you ask me. Although I have used Lightroom for years and I still use it sometimes. But I'd like to think that after this video you would at least explore or consider the option of using Capture One instead of Lightroom. So before I get started, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, if I can help any further, you're welcome to email me as well. Um, you can find me on Instagram at mblakepope. And let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's keep this fast and speedy. All right, so we are in Capture One. I've got an image pulled up that I shot the other day on the X Pro. This is a digital file, but this is just as great for any kind of film or scans that you do at home. It's just as great, and I, I shoot mostly film, and I use this pretty much 95% of the time. So, reason number one why to use Capture One. I love this tool, it's my favorite. It's, it's in the metadata tool tab, and I understand that this is gonna be a little foreign to you initially, but let's just get started through this video. So there's a metadata tab here, and you'll find all of your metadata down here, but my favorite tool is the annotations tool. What this tool does is gives you the chance to make any notes, as you can see I have some here, on the actual image. You can also then export this image into Light, or sorry, excuse me, into Photoshop, and it'll create a separate layer with your annotations. So say you're communicating with a retoucher and you need to make some touch-ups here or whatever, those will come out in a separate file. They can be turned off just by switching the tool tab. Up next, number two. Number two is, I would say, an obvious one, but the reason I love Capture One is you can work in layers. You cannot do that in Lightroom, unfortunately. And maybe you will be able to um, in the next update or future updates, I don't know, but you can work with individual layers. As you can see here, I have the background, our base layer, there's a color correction layer, a white balance, a color grade. I'll turn that color grade off. You can see how much character we're adding in just a layer. And then each layer can be adjusted as far as the opacity goes. And, and that's just amazing to me. Number three is color grading. So in the color tool tab, I've also moved mine over into my primary tool tab, but you can do full on color grading, much like a colorist would for a film or video. Um, but there's a color balance tool that I think is the best. And that's really the number reason, or number three reason, is the color balance tool. You have a master selector here. There's a three-way as well, which you can then work individually. That, I find that to be a little too small, so then you can go in individually and tweak these. I'll go into the color grade and you can see what I've done. I've brought the mid-tones a little bit warmer, the highlights are cooler, and then the shadows I brought up a good bit. And then again, as I mentioned with the layers, you can adjust the opacity. So I tend to work in more extremes initially and then dial them back, which again, having that flexibility is just so great, which you just don't have in Lightroom. Up next, number four is grain. Now in scanning film or getting scans from the lab for film, I, I don't add any grain. I think that's kind of redundant and silly, but maybe you want to enhance effect, an effect and, and that's fine too. But unlike Lightroom who has just one grain um, identity, if you will, in Capture One you have six different types of grain. Some are more extreme, some resemble different styles, and then you can then, much like Lightroom, adjust the impact and also the granularity. And number five, I'll use this image as an example. And this is just a picture I took of myself actually, we'll call it a selfie. Um, this is an image that I took, I just got in the X-Pro2, which is playing around with it and the light in the sky was beautiful. Um, so this is a great chance to show you what the skin tool does. And I have a skin layer here and I'll cut it off and on. 
you can see the amount of contrast and inconsistency in the skin here. And then once I cut that on, what I've done is smooth that out and kind of found like a more rich tonality to it. So where this tool is, is actually in the color editor down here. We'll just open that up. And there's a basic, which is very similar to um, your Lightroom uh, color editor. There's an advanced where you can select individual tones. I'll show you an example of that. Say we wanna look at this here. We can even refine that area to get just a limited selection. Let me scroll down a bit and then adjust hue of that, etc. Undo, but in the skin tone, much like the advanced, you can make a selection. As you can see, we have one here. You can select that tool, or that selection rather, and then uh, adjust your hue, saturation, and lightness, but then a step further is the uniformity. So what that's going to be is say we select this region here, and we wanna push that or pull rather, pull that into more of a tight, cohesive, centralized hue, you can do that by adjusting the slider here. So that's down low, and then this is up high, bringing it closer into that hue. Where you'll see it shine the most is say in saturation. Perhaps you have some splotchiness or dark circles. Bringing that up is gonna kind of tighten all those um, hues and saturations into one unified place. And then for lightness, all the way down. Again, also pretty aggressive. You can see this um, contrast, which I enjoy, but we can bring that up into more of a smoothed out skin tone. And then say it's too much, we can go in and then bring down our opacity of that layer. So, and then lastly, is one last thing. And this is the bonus, if you will, but if you're doing a grade or, or really any adjustment for that matter, in its own individual layer, you have the Luma range, which you can apply to each individual layer. But once we select that, we'll see this. It looks kind of like a levels uh, adjustment layer, but you can determine what part of the image it will apply to. So you have to bring that up. We're removing it from the lower tones, but only restricting it to the, um, the higher range there. You can then draw this out and it'll have a further reach and more of a gradient. And you can also cut on the, the display mask and it'll show you where are we applying this to. So you see that bright kind of green level there, or sorry, pink level. Um, we're gonna bring that down to the lower tones and we can see it changes as we adjust. And then we wanna apply that only to the face. How about that? And you see those sharp edges right around here. Once we bring this around, it'll kind of smooth those out just a little bit. Apply that and then you're done. Boom. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. This is just one of many videos I do want to make and show you how powerful Capture One is. I'd love to spend more time in Capture One, also some in Photoshop as well. And again, everybody does things differently. This is not the right way. This is maybe totally the wrong way. Maybe you disagree with what I'm doing here, but I do want to uh, open things up and create dialogue here and learn from you as well. If you enjoy it, leave a comment, please subscribe, and you can find me again on Instagram at mblakepope, and looking forward to meeting up with you. Chat soon.